so today we're watching TikToks again. We're gonna watch TikToks again. We're gonna do it. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! A while ago, I did a video where I reacted to book talks. And like, here's the thing. I don't watch TikTok. <laughs> Not because I don't like it, but because I don't want to like it. This is the key, you know, difference here. I have never wanted to let myself get into TikTok or book talk because I know once I start, my my phone screen time is about to go woo! It's like Nutella. For years and years, I didn't let myself eat Nutella because I knew, I knew I'd love it too much. And even now I try to forget about how good it is because otherwise we'd have a problem on our hands. We'd have a real problem. I would just be eating it left, right and center. So it's the same thing. TikTok and Nutella, same thing. But today, instead of scrolling through the hashtag book talk, because I feel like that is, that is an unsafe, zone. You do not know what you're going to come up against. Instead, I'm going to watch some YouTube compilations. I feel like that's safer. I feel like the creme de la creme will have been selected. And also because I'm really hoping they're not going to have any of those fucking like dramatized fantasy uh, ones where they pretend to be a character from a fantasy book and they're like dressed up in a crown and they'll, they'll be like, the girl I was was easy to kill. <laughs> I like, guess how sore it is like. Because I can't. I'm screaming, crying, throwing up. I can't. I can't. I can't. Listen, I know some people love that shit. You guys, I can't. It's not for me, Mark. I'm, I feel terribly ill all of a sudden. Some people love it. Good for them. Nothing makes me cringe more. Nothing makes me cringe more. I don't want any of that. I don't want any of that guy. You know the guy with the blue eyes? I don't want any of him. I don't want him. I don't want to see it because nothing makes me more upset. Like, I feel physically ill. And listen, it's great for some people. Just not for me. But before we get into it, I want to thank our sponsor for today's video, which is Skillshare. Don't click off. I see you. Don't fast forward. Don't fast forward until you think the sponsorship is done. Because Skillshare is one of my favorite things. I, it was the first sponsorship I ever accepted and it's one that I love to keep doing because I have used Skillshare literally from when I was about 13. So it's been, it's like coming up like eight years. Eight years I've been using Skillshare on and off at four. It has taught me so many skills in photography, video making, graphic design, general creativity, writing. There's literally something for everyone. They have illustration classes as well cake making, like baking classes, there's everything you could want. And I just generally feel like Skillshare is such a wonderful place to hone and develop new fun creative skills. There's so many inspiring classes for creative people like you and me. There's no ads, there's always new premium classes being added. I feel like because we're coming up to the new year, this is always a great time to just like pick a, you know, pick a uh, something creative that you've always wanted to learn. So I've loved doing their writing classes in the past. I'm just about to start the class Productivity for Artists, Organising Yourself for Success by Brooke Glasser. I'm having a problem at the moment where I feel like there's not enough hours in the day, so hopefully this will help me kind of organise myself and structure myself better to kind of make use of that time. But yeah, I would absolutely recommend using Skillshare and it's so amazing. The first 1,000 of you to click the link down below will get one month free of Skillshare, a whole month for you to like develop new skills, try new things. You have nothing to lose. I would just really recommend it. Listen, I, I don't have to recommend it this hard but like I don't feel like if you're watching this go try it okay it's time to put the headphones on I don't know what we're gonna get <laughs> girl come on come on okay this is what I'm talking about that's cringe to me that's my opinion Listen, when I'm saying this, I don't, this isn't offensive to any of those creators because I'm cringe, right? I'm embarrassing. I'm, listen, I'm annoying. <laughs> when I say that's cringe to me, it's more, I'm more talking about the trend of doing stuff like that on TikTok rather than that individual creator. I'm not saying anything about that individual creator. All the power to them. I'm sure they're amazing. That's what I'm saying. I'm more talking about TikTok as a whole. Like, why, 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 why? That doesn't have to be a thing. Like, I feel like TikTok sometimes often says things just to be like, irrelatable, irrelatable. But like, but like, you, <laughs> Do people actually desire their other half to be like really into books? Do people desire that? Because I don't. Like, we, you don't have to be in, into the same thing as your significant other. Do you think Tom reads? Dum dum. 
So he does actually read audiobooks now, but that man will never pick up a fiction book in his life. He will never pick up a fiction book in his life. And you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Like we can, we, I don't play FIFA. We can all like different things. I just feel like we're just saying things to be relatable. Do you remember like on Tumblr when, when like 2012, there was like just girly things and those like, those sayings that would have like a colorful background and then like a statement that's supposed to be relatable for everyone in the center. Like this is what I feel like we're dealing with in 2021. <laughs> You're staying, you're staying, you're gone. Sorry. Hang on. We're going too fast. I'm old actually. I actually am old. We 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 type too fast. You're Enemies staying, to others. You're staying, you're Who gone. You? Sorry. You. Wasn't sure about you, um, but I'm gonna tip towards gone. So gone. One of you two has been rejected. Who do you think it is? Wrong, it's you. You're in, you're rejected. Sorry. Okay, I actually like that. That was funny. That was fucking funny, but we moved a little bit fast to my old eyes at the beginning. Here's the thing. Also, TikTok's very into romance, and I'm not a romance gal. I mean, I know. I know I helped in pioneering <laughs> the love hypothesis. No, I'm joking. But, like, I loved the love hypothesis, but, like, I'm not a romance gal, and I feel like TikTok, book talk is very romance-centric. Romance and fantasy, but the fantasy bitches just want to dress up like queens. It's very into romance. It's all it recommends is Colleen Hoover. <laughs> Time for another book challenge. Go to your bookshelf and pick a book, any book, oh it doesn't matter which one, and then open the book up to page 74. The first thing a character says on that page is what your soulmate will say when you first oh meet God. them. That's tragic. I, but I feel like that was planned. This is another thing. I feel like I feel like that's planned. Because you've got to get good content, but that's planned. Let's see what my soulmate... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. My... My mine is no ma'am, I'm all set. Or just no ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. No ma'am. What did Tom say? He probably said something like, I probably asked him a question he didn't know the answer to when we first met. So probably similar. Similar. At least this one's respectful. That actually worked, but maybe it's not planned. Okay, well, he gave her a crooked grin. No. Oh. <laughs> ah! Books are fucking stupid, aren't they? <laughs> Books, okay, l listen, books are fucking stupid. Can we all just agree? Like, I love books, I love writing, but you are, like, it's stupid. We are into something that's stupid. <laughs> like, the fact that one day I'm gonna be, like, out here writing, like, romance, like, two fictional characters I've jumped up in my head, romance, kind of, kind of, kind of makes me want to fight for my life. Like, screaming, crying, throwing up. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna leave. We imagine worlds in our head, write them, and then we give them to other people to read. Like, it's just... Huh. Much to think about. Okay, next one. Well, I love you. No, you I don't, love you. Topper. You love the idea of Girl. me. You love being seen <laughs> with me, but you don't love me. That's true. It, when I, w I had to read some of the love hypothesis in public, and I was like... Taking the dust jacket off. <laughs> I don't want them to see me reading Adam Driver fan fiction. <laughs> who, who got me smiling like that? Smiling like that, like so true. You can't hear the music because I don't think I can let you hear it. We're just gonna vibe, okay? Thoughts I have while yes. reading Tell me. Book. Do any of Fuck. these women so true? What is it ever written about? Been traveling for ages. Have they not encountered yes. this problem? Okay, They've if anyone has a fancy book when this actually happens, please time. let me know. Because suddenly, periods are just, they period just don't exist. They don't exist. Fancy's fight. like, sorry, I don't what know the her. Brush their teeth? Have they even yeah, what do these people eat? Like, just the logistics of fantasy, we just, we just ignore. Days. We just ignore. You actually, you know what, I'm going to write about a period one day. I've just decided it. I've just decided it. Okay, me after I start getting smart from actual books instead of... Am I better than everyone? Okay, true true but i haven't fully gotten into romance but like i feel like it's strange because when i was younger i read a lot of well i didn't read what pad ao3 i read tumblr fan fiction which was a whole other beast that was we were we were we were in the trenches we were in the trenches me whenever someone tries to bring up tumblr fan fiction please do not this is an intense request from my heart i am not meaning to shame you but I am tapped out, done, goodbye. Some other stuff on there, oh my god. 
Oh my god. And it was One Direction. You just need to know that right now. One Direction fan fiction. Harry Styles. I have a vivid... <laughs> no, I can't say that. But I have... I can't. I can't because people, my family watch these videos. <laughs> but I have a vivid memory of one particular Harry Styles fan fiction that I read back in 2014. I can still picture it now. Let's just say you're under the stage. Show's about to start. Anyway, would you catch me doing that now? No, well, actually, I just read Kylo Ren fan fiction and gave it five stars. So, like, harmless book things that still annoy me. People on covers, oh yeah, fuck that. Faces, get out. <gasps> yes, it should all be the same size. Oh my god, yeah, what? No. Oh my god, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck! Ugh. That's so annoying. That one, every single thing on that list is something I have moaned to my family about probably in the last week. I'm talking about a lot about the love hypothesis in this video, but it is a popular TikTok book, so like we can do that. But I was talking to my mum about the like as seen on book talk TikTok sticker that's on them that you can't take off and it's ugly. It's ugly. Why would you subject us to that? Why would you make us do that? Mm, I can't relate. I don't think I fall for toxic men. Well, Kaz, no. I'm picking up little sketch vibes. Okay, can't relate. I, I like to fall for nice men. <laughs> I don't really fall in love. I just can't relate. Oh, hmm, Darlington? Darlington from Ninth House could get it. But I don't really fall for fictional characters in this way, or at least in books. Because I think a lot of what I vibe with, <laughs> with men, is not looks not personality it's mannerisms and you can't really write that in a book i like just little mannerisms i can't explain it just little mannerisms little little things that people do is what makes me fancy a person not looks not personality well that's a lie <laughs> but i'm talking about like fictional people or like people i don't know anyway <laughs> no okay she's saying get it <laughs> i don't do this and I've never done this. It's a stressful undertaking. I mean, can you understand? I mean, I'm waiting to film it. I'm gonna film a bookshelf for your organization like next week in a couple of days, but it's a stressful undertaking. I don't, I don't, and I'm not the kind of person who's always trying to like finally get it right. I'm the kind of person who's like, listen, if I just don't try really hard, it won't be embarrassing that it's not good. I feel the same. That's why I don't have a bullet journal. I could not have a bullet journal because I will cry myself to sleep every night at the fact that your bitch's one is better than mine and it's so much prettier. So I just don't do it because I don't want to not be as good as everyone else. It'd be a perfect I can't, thing. I can't, I've tried it and I've failed. Why does everyone I expect can't. it then? Bookish things I love. My bestie. I'll do the music for you. Spray edges, I agree. Stee and your bestie. Sit down by the f Oh, I fucking love family trees. Get out. A family tree and a map at the start, you got- It's a map. It's a map. It's a map. I just predicted it. Short chapters. K Ankrum. Floppy paper. Mm, I, don't, I actually don't love floppy paper. I don't- They're fine. I love family trees and a map. I love, I think I love family trees more than a map because they're rarer. That feels a little bit like, a little bit of the rare shit. You know what I mean? Things at Book Quermas do part one. What? Plan a TBR not for the world. Oh yeah. Okay, well, well actually I do, but am I better than everyone? <laughs> really loving a book? Oh, I can relate. Oh, I can relate. Do you guys know that sometimes, sometimes I have to sit here for like, <laughs> for quite a while, for quite a while before I can like, I just sit here in silence sometimes in the middle of filming, like, die, die, die. whilst I try to think of something to say. Sometimes I'm really struggling for words. So there we have it guys. That is my reaction to book talk again. I very much enjoyed it. I feel like I feel like watching the compilations was the better thing because a lot of people who watch book talk, the algorithm will kind of like have picked what kind of book talks you like. But as I don't, the algorithm doesn't know what I like. And so it's gonna be recommending me the things that have me screaming, crying, throwing up. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you got into the end, comment the musical note emoji. RIP musically, oh my God. And I will see you very soon in another video.